What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Hardcore Tarkov Challenge. This is the series where I have to find everything in my raids, barter, or craft for my equipment. If you haven't watched the first two episodes of the series, I highly recommend that you go do that first because they're pretty important to understand the context of this video. And the context being, I got a thermal SVD on a Hardcore account with only a few raids under my belt, so that's pretty awesome. <laughs> what an amazing piece of equipment to find only a few raids in and I have to use this so you don't have to worry it's not going to sit in my stash collecting dust or I'm not going to toss it to the traders for value we're definitely going to be using it not just as a offensive piece of equipment but also defensive moving through my raids collecting the loot that I need for my hideout upgrades while scanning the area making sure I'm not being tracked or being set up on by other players there is one catch though the ergonomics this has pretty abysmal ergonomics and weight so that means while I'm aiming down my sights, my stamina bar is gonna drain extremely fast and more often than not, I'm gonna have no arm stamina. That's gonna cause shaky aim on a low refresh rate optic. When it comes to Fleers in comparison to Reapers, Fleers have that additional range, which is great for things like sniper rifles and DMRs, but the refresh rate is so bad that tracking, leading, and then landing those shots accurately can be extremely difficult. So on top of that, having shaky aim doesn't make things easy, but it still is a thermal, which makes it very powerful. And it's mainly for spotting where my enemies are or who's in the area. So with that being said, let's get that SVD out in my hands and let's do some raids with it. I'm gonna... Somebody hit a landmine. Oh, that sucks for me. That means that somebody's taking my meds. Free loot? Nah, they're still alive. One explosion won't kill you. A two will. <laughs> oh, there's a third. What the fuck, man? This guy's having a hard time. Okay. My legs. Dude, that guy's gonna consume all of my meds by just hitting the landmines. Uh, that means he's at, he's at the back. Oh, there he is. He's like over there somewhere. I'm just like firing shots for the fuck of it. Oh! That could have ended really badly. Yeah, I might as well take his stupid helmet. Uh, wait, what? The M32s are actually my favorite pair of contacts, so that's why I'm kind of like, ah, I gotta wear a Sordans, but Sordans are actually really good too, so just not my favorite right now. You killed a child! Listen, there is no honor in har hardcore. This guy's got cheese, I need his cheese. I just killed a guy for his cheese slice. His American craft single. Have you ever killed somebody for a cra- Listen, I gotta flip the eggs. Hold on. Have you ever killed somebody with your bare hands? 
for a slice of cheese on weed <laughs> with your bare hands I have you haven't seen this shit brother on weed this is what happens when you're on weed have you ever stabbed him in the eyes with a four soap I need the soap for my shitter level one I need I need toothpaste and shitter paper too have you oh ever that guy's dead Oh shit, that's the landmine. Ah, oh, for fuck's sakes. That's the landmine guy. That guy's dead from landmines. And he's got gear, so... I mean, I could try to get it. But it's gonna be kind of problematic. I have a... I have a grizzly. It's just... There's another dude that's alive, I think. Where is he? I'd have to hit mine at a time. One mine at a time and then loot. One mine at a time and then loot. It's just a lot of work. It's gonna happen. Be prepped. Suppressed Keter. Nice MDR. <laughs> What is happening? Maybe I'm getting baited. It feel like I feel like I'm getting baited or something, but like I I don't know. Like you guys, I mean, listen, if it's bait, it's the perfect bait. I'm a sucker for explosions. Everyone knows this. Ah, oh, for fuck's sakes. Oh, we found him. Ah, oh, jeez. G ah, oh, G whiz. This guy's got gear as well. This guy's got a suppressed SVD. This feels like a handout. I don't know. Listen, we'll have to make a decision. I don't know. Feels weird, man. Feels weird. Feels weird. He looks kitted. If he's super kitted in a high level, there's no way he's just trying to do a geared handoff. It happens from time to time on hardcore. We ditched that shit to the dump. But if he's like uh, below level 30 or something, there's a reasonable chance that... um. He actually did hit those. In the first couple seasons of Hardcore, there were situations where players tried to give me free gear to make my life easier. So that's why I'm concerned about higher level being dead in a minefield with lots of gear. So I gotta go and take a peek, but I wanna be cautious of that. Armstam, man, this thing sucks. I know it's a thermal, but it, I'm gonna get killed with this thing. It's fine. Oh, it's an MOO. Okay, well, there's a chance. This, he doesn't look very high level. I should be able to get this body because there's no landmines in front of me. The landmines start here. Okay, I wasn't ready for that one. I'm not going to lie. Oh yeah, no, this guy, this guy just straight up fucked up. That's all. This guy didn't know any better. Well. I'm okay with this. Ah. Uh... Dude, OPSKS is a nice. Can I take that? Um, man, I wish I could. Can I take it? Is there a way? I don't think there is a way. No, there's no way. Damn. Can't take that though. Roll me up and smoke me when I die. Roll me up and smoke me when I die. Something, 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 something. 
no, 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 no. We'll roll me Is these qu condors? Oh, it's condors. Do, 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 do. All right, let's get the fuck out of here, man. What a weird raid. This has been the strange, probably the strangest raid I've ever had this wipe. <laughs> it's definitely, it's definitely up there. Seriously, this is some funny shit. Roll me up. Yo, Nikita, when are we going to be able to climb that mountain? Game, the game's broken until we can climb that mountain. Look at that mountain. Can't play Tarkov until they fix that fucking mountain. Now let's talk about another new player and hardcore problem, which is moving while overweight. Uh, you know, when everybody's starting the wipe and we all have the same strength and endurance level, you don't really think about it that much until you get level 51 strength and endurance and you go back to having none of it at all mid wipe and you're carrying all this heavy equipment out of your raids just running stopping crawling sitting in bushes waiting um i've been overweight a lot during this challenge because you just got to grab everything and it is definitely slow going to the extractions that could be a good thing or a bad thing the good thing in the sense that sometimes players don't see you and walk right by your bushes bad as in it can take a long time to get out of those raids when you desperately want to secure some of that juicy loot uh it's kind of weird how you have to crawl to regain your stamina i would love to see the developers in the future change it to maybe like a half speed walk or even like just a slow walk and allow you to regain stamina kind of a weird situation and i feel like in tarkov it definitely still needs some tweaking and some work there because i just don't think it's in a great spot but either way we're still leveling up some strength levels, which is kind of nice. I think I'm already almost level 10 strength on this account. And my metabolism is going through the roof, man, because I'm eating pretty much everything that I see. Apple juices, condensed milks. I can't even tell you how many cans of Sprats I put in through this system. It's kind of crazy. Also kind of funny, though, because on my main, I didn't really do any of that. I just kind of went through my raids. But hardcore is a little bit different and it's a lot of fun to utilize all these different aspects of the game that you just typically walk past or just ignore uh the cans of sprats are keeping this guy going pretty hard oh come on all right man that was the slowest shit man i do not miss being overweight in escape from tarkov that is one thing that uh i haven't had to experience in quite some time Man, the, um, the 51 strength endurance and, and strength advantage is so big. It, it takes a... It's good to remember what life is like. So let's take a look at how my stash is doing. As you can see, I have a lot of hideout pieces of equipment, and I'm still doing some of the first game missions. I've done the Jaeger quest to unlock him so I can get access to some barters, but I'm still looking for MP133 shotguns. I'm still looking for Selawas. Most of the Selawas that I've found, I've either used or... I've found them from the players that I've actually killed, which is crazy considering how much medication that I, or medical locations I've actually looted. So my current mission right now is to not complete as many tasks as I can. I am prioritizing the hideout. That means that I'm gonna be able to get more reliable crafts for things like good ammunitions and body armors. And then it's gonna make doing the missions down the road a lot easier, having access to more tools uh, at my disposal. So quests are important for early game money and then also things like turning in morphines for painkillers and little like conveniences as well. Also getting those trader reputations up so I can get things like lucky scab jump boxes and ammo cases with my spare money is very important. So in terms of weaponry and efficient rating, we have a number of weapons, but nothing too crazy. At this point, even though I have that thermal SVD and a couple serious guns, I still, I still have a secondary SVD there with a Valde the DVL I'm not super excited about, and that AK-101 is really nice. But I'm always going to be a few deaths away from being back to ground zero, and that's something that I always have to keep in mind. It's not like my regular Tarkov account where I can have this crazy death streak and just continue to push through. Every death on Hardcore matters and has a significant impact on my ability to sustain my raids. So being mindful of that is extremely important.
Man, I can't fucking see pretty much anything right now. Stormy is slaying? Uh... Maybe. I just need to know where the guys are. Oh, he's close. I don't know how he didn't come up on thermal signature, but he's close. Close front. Must be in the ditch. I just heard him. Ace. Oh, there we go. Alright, just hit him. Once in the back, I'm gonna push- I'm gonna push away and use the distance. That guy's geared. We're gonna need two shots, not one. He's gotta be on that front side. Okay, so he tucked himself down there. I just wonder if he decided to push back, like more so over here. If I'm surprised though, because if you're front side rock, usually the scab boss is gonna throw shots at you. Maybe he flanked around behind me to the right. Probably in the dip. Yeah, he's probably there. That's what I'm thinking. I was like trying to double check behind me. This is uh, pretty tough. Low stam. Oh yeah, it's not easy. With the stam here. We definitely nailed him. Probably fucked up his body armor quite a bit. Okay, so he was over here. That could be him. I don't think he's around that rock anymore. I think he pushed down, personally. Well, there's a dead body there. All right, I'm gonna push up this way. He's there. <sighs> Fuck that up again. Sorry. I thought that was him looting the body standing still. That's our boy. It's the same guy. Oh, that's him right there. No arm stam. She's zeroed out. I gotta move. Damn, that sucks that that guy killed Sturman. Fuck. He would have checked. He would have checked for uh, Red Rebel already, I'd say. Oh, we did hit him. There's the heavy bleed. Oh, I know where he is. He's up on the mound. Okay, can I just get a little arm stamina and a little stamina here? Ah, uh, okay. Give me a little stam. He's up there. There we go. I just don't know if there's two. I think there's just the one. Oh! 
Got a guy in their back, backside. For all I know, that could be a player uh, scav at this point. Or even just a reg scav. But I know I just seen the red thermal signature somewhere behind me. Oh, shit, right there. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm so lucky. I have no arm stab. Where's my extraction? Okay. Dude is blind? Fuck, I know. It's probably because I can't run. <laughs> I gotta walk everywhere. I'm probably not uh, picking up like a usual chat. I'm probably just fucking walking. Oh yeah, that's a player scout for sure. Okay, there's that. Dude, I'd love to just take the bottle of booze. Just drink the bottle of booze. You know what's fucking hilarious? Is I'm actually doing it. This might be the first time I've ever legitimately used vodka. I could have used the... F I I gotta use the Vaseline. I could I did I forgot about the Vaseline. Oh well. I got a hawk I got an aquamarine, so I can use it. The mill yeah, I got I got food and water, so. Dude, this guy's moving closer. At least one of these guys have a fucking backpack that's worth using. Thank you. Hurry up. Those are really good, but I just, I'm trying to ditch for some of the things I already have. I need a toothpaste. Dip. 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 What? No, why the fuck did I just do that? You know what? It's, that's the first one I've ever found. That's fucking hilarious. That's so funny. Whatever. Dude, I'm making bad choices. Fuck the grenades. I need a toothpaste. This can go here. That is so funny. I can't believe I dropped a wrench. I don't even know where it is. I'm, okay, I'm dehydrating. Can I grab it? Where is it? There it is. That's hilarious. The ratch. Too bad I can't use it as a melee weapon. That's so funny. I never even... Okay. Well, we're gonna go this way. I haven't even found that on my main. This is actual panic. This is legitimate gear fear is what this is. They're cheap on the flea now, finally? Oh, really? That's the first one I've ever found. Oh, so fucking fat. Yo, that means that that dude must have had some juicy loot in his uh, boofer bag. Oh man, bro. Yeah, this has definitely been the best PVP out of any hardcore season to date for me, personally. Season six is off to a good start.
So whenever you are afraid of getting one shot in the head by a player scav, you sometimes make horrible looting decisions. So I know you guys love to criticize my ability to loot. I get called the boomer looter all the time. And you know what, that's that's pretty fair. I'm watching that back while editing and I'm, I'm like, all right, that's that's kind of accurate. Anyway, enough about my ability to loot. Let's uh, let's talk about what we're doing here. We're back at the Woods Village. This is one of the greatest places in the game to get really easy hideout pieces of equipment and then also killing scavengers. There's usually one to three scavengers in the village. Um, 6B3TM body armors, really great for hardcore. So trying to pick up a couple of those bad boys while rolling through. Now, if you're playing regular Tarkov, this is a really efficient way for you to farm money. Lots of players bring 3,000 rubles so they can take that SUV bridge extraction after looting the entire village, and you're basically never going to get a run through as long as you kill at least one scavenger. So you'll see a lot of people do that, and you can make some crazy money on the way. So although we're not selling things on the flea market, we're still making massive gains here. Uh, as you see here, I'm killing like a Vepper Hunter, and Vepper Hunters, you know what, mainly have TPZs not utilizing that weapon nearly as much as I expected to, but maybe down the road. ADARs though, still one of my favorite hardcore guns and that new gas mask. I just picked up one of those new gas masks. I love the cosmetic look. So anytime that I find one on hardcore, I'm kind of going to be rocking it just because I love the cosmetic appeal. So sometimes I'm a sucker for making my character look pretty cool. So again, looted that village. Guess what? massively overweight and I see a dead body on the road so that tells me there's a player in the area oh 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 ah come on this ain't good your boy doodles is out of stamp Ah, uh, fine. I still have the debuff, though. I don't know where he went. Bag scoop incoming? Imagine. This just gets worse. That was such a small fall. That was so small of a fall. Now I gotta go back for my sack. I gotta go back for my sack. It's over, Anakin. I think this guy was low, tucked into that rock. I was playing with Dan one time, and there's a dude in that position. It's just crazy. I haven't, I haven't spotted him on thermal signature yet at all. There we go. He's looking for me. He might grab my sack. he's alive like pretty sure he's alive an arm stamp yeah we have no stamp fine yeah we heard him pretty fucking bad
Unless he rolled down the hill? I don't know. I don't have any more nades. I think he's still alive. We did land two shots on him though, so. I'm, the problem is I'm gonna have to go back for my sack here very soon. There he is. He's, he's running. He probably took a lot of my loot. I bet you he took my loot. Okay. I think he's dead now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's dead. I watched him roll. Whoops. Wanna check that. Good luck finding him. Well, I have a thermal, so that should help. Three more shots? Listen, today has just been one of those days where, um... The double tap is important. I've just been running into nothing but bush boys. He could still be alive. For all I fucking know, this guy could still be alive. I'm going to assume that he's alive still. He's rolling on that ridge. Got him. Ah, ghost marksman boy. With an MCX? Bro, I don't even want that. I actually, you know what's crazy? And what's really funny is I want the ADAR more than I want this. That's a fucking fact. I don't even want this gun. I want to do that. Maybe I'll do that. Grab some attachments. Do not want the MCX. You know, I said on my main account that I'm never going to use that gun again. I think I'm going to stick with that mentality. Even in hardcore. <laughs> unless I unless I get a fully juiced one. I could bring it out and sell it for trader value. But... No, it's not the gun, per se. That doesn't seem to deliver for me. It's more of the ammunition. So, but I mean, it's just, it is what it is. People like what they like. I just don't like it. That's true. We could ditch the stock for space because like, yeah, we're going to sell it. It's not going to be worth that much. Good call. Hopefully we won't be doing that much more looting this raid, but we will see. That's the troll Mackie. He's got the threaded barrel to put the suppressor and it doesn't count for Punisher. Oh yeah. That's kind of nice though, actually. Threaded barrel Mackie, you got to keep that in mind. We find like a couple of 9mm suppressors, we can put those bad boys on there. It's actually not a bad, bad find for Tarkor, to be completely honest with you. I'll try to remember to not sell it so we can uh, put some 9mm threaded barrels on that bad boy. Or an Osprey or something. If you can put it, I think you can put an Osprey on there. God damn. Uh, I will say though, like, I do utilize. Um, Fuck, I do utilize auto sort pretty heavily on my main, but I feel like on hardcore, it's going to be used even more because we just won't have containers for a little bit. So it is going to be used a lot. Oh, I picked up a body armor as well. So believe it or not, I think that's my first final raid solo that I was able to peel out, peel out of the raid. The rest of them, I would, I think I died on the raids that we had a bunch. Here we go. Oh man. Oh, 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 look at, look at that beauty. Well, come into the merch store, get your own shit bucket. You ever want a shit bucket? Here you go. We're going to be selling these things so you too can shit and miss on the floor. You see all that? Oh, look at that. Buy one of, the, buy one of these big boys. Look at this. Take a shit in your bucket and... Oh, well, how about that? That's a new mouse. Oh, oh, wow, what's happening? Crash. Oh, baby, look at that. We can actually make some cool stuff here. Man, there's a lot we can do. There's a lot we can craft into. That's pretty sweet. 
I love it. Love it. Okay. Day one stats. Let's take a peek. Arguably the best hardcore start I've ever fucking had. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't really remember. It's been a long time, but... Uh, I would say this is definitely up there. If we're ending the day with a thermal SVD, that's pretty good. I can't complain. That's uh, that's pretty solid. GG's all around. How many people did we kill? Yeah, we killed uh, 11 people today. 11 PMCs. One boss is killed. We got 48 kills. Total stash value, seven mil. That's pretty wild.